New York City consists of approximately 1.1 million students. We're the largest public district in the country. We have approximately 200,000 special education students. So as a special education teacher, you come across students that have a variety of different needs. Some students need things read to them, some students need things written out or directions read differently. We gave the students these various questions about do they like reading, is reading difficult for them, do they like to read on their own, do they like to be read to, and they all answered um, quite honestly. No student wants to have to raise their hands. It comes a point, no matter how comfortable they are in the classroom, that they do feel embarrassed to ask again. It is hard to always meet the needs of all my students when they need help. We want our students to have access, all students to have access to their curriculum. And what was amazing about this partnership is it was a great, wonderful collaboration between the teachers and the speech and language department, where we really were able to show this school how, through the use of assistive technology, we can address our literacy initiatives. While sometimes we can recommend some very intricate pieces of technology, the reader pen is more simple, and so it can be integrated more easily into the classroom. It allows them to use the educational materials such as regular textbooks and worksheets and reading books that their peers are using. So many of the students have not only built up their confidence through the reader pen, but also are becoming more independent. So every morning the kids come in, they know that the pens are right in the front of the classroom with the headphones next to them. They grab their headphones and they get started with the morning work. What I like most about the reader pens is they're like a highlighter and they highlight and they can read for you because in reading sometimes we get stuck on a word and we need help so the reader pens helps me to understand the word and the definition. Vocabulary is a really big piece across the district that we really have been working on throughout speech and language therapy and I really think that the reader pen is a wonderful tool. Anytime they come across a difficult word, instead of asking me what it means, they use their pen to scan it and they move on. It frees me up and it lets us get further through the lesson because I don't have to pre-teach the vocabulary anymore. I like using the reader pen more than raising my hand during class because when you scan it, the answer's right there. I had one session of introducing the pens and their features. There was a small learning curve, but they picked up on it pretty fast and were even showing me how to use certain features in the pen that I didn't even know how to use. I can now spend my time with the whole class and engaging my students in more meaningful discussion and reading comprehension. Students who normally didn't understand the text fully reading it independently with the use of the reader pen can now understand the text and I can see the smiles on their face when they are proud to raise their hand up high and answer a question in class they normally wouldn't be able to. I have one student named Kevin who is a brilliant math student but his reading, he really does struggle. But by using the reader pen, he's able to scan the text, understand what is being asked, and solve that math problem perfectly. The pen has helped me with a lot of hardships. I'm understanding more of the words and understanding more of the sounds that I didn't understand before. It just levels the playing field and it's giving our special needs students confidence where instead of them asking their peers for help and support, now some of their friends and peers are now asking them for support.